Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Today I want to talk about, here at the end of the week, the potential we have every day in our lives. We talk about this a lot. This week we talked about some interesting things. However, yesterday's tune-up was kind of interesting, where we talked about not sweating the small stuff, really quit complaining, and really focus on the things you're in control of. Well, let's build upon that since it's Friday, and let's talk about a little bit more of that. Many people live for the weekend. They live for the weekend because it's like they haven't got any responsibilities, they don't have anything to do, but really it's like they don't have to work. It's because they're looking at work as work rather than work as joy. At the end of each week, I'm kind of saddened because I know a lot of people, a lot of you, live for the weekend, which means you're wishing your life away. If you're one of those people that just live for the weekend, you can't wait for it to come, that's not a bad thing. However, if you are loathing the rest of the week because you wish the weekend was here, that's a problem. That kind of attitude begets more problems than work. It really makes a, a worker out of you that people want to get rid of. Your spirit, your camaraderie, the energy you put out towards your fellow workers is not good. I'm going to ask you next week to start the week off with an attitude that you're not just living for the weekend, you're living each day to make the best out of it by inspiring and motivating other people. Forget about the job, just do the job. The job is a means to the end, but the end of it is not Friday. During that week, you have the ability to inspire people every day, and a lot of you just close your mind, close your eyes, and don't care. And it's that apathy that's going to get us. Apathy and not caring about what's happening those five days a week are critical to the success of not only this country, but to you personally. What I want us all to do is really look at each day as a gift. When we wake up in the morning, we're darn lucky to be there. And whatever we do each day, if you have the kind of a job that is drudgery or is trouble or is problems for you, change it. And if you say there are no jobs out there, I'm just lucky to have this one, then act like it. However, right now, we're all being forced to a little more creativity than we've ever been to before. And, and maybe now's the time for you to become creative. And if you love doing something, to start doing it. Or at least do some R&D on it to see what the possibilities are. You might surprise yourself. If you find yourself just living for the weekend, you're wishing away five-sevenths of your life, which means you're wishing your life away. That's a tragedy. When your children see you do that, when your peers see you do that, it really makes people think much less of you than you deserve. So this weekend, let's think about how special next week's going to be. Let's hit next week on Monday morning like, wow. We're going to make the best out of it. Not because I say so, because you say so. And next week, I think we're going to have a surprise to talk about. It might be kind of fun for some of you. The only limitation is time is of the essence. Once I announce this, if you want to do it with us, space is going to be limited. You're going to have to jump on it. However, you got a little bit of time to get ready for it, but it's going to be fun. We'll talk about it next week. So until then, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary weekend. Bye-bye.